Yo, Johnny, pose. Yo, I'm posing. Change the pose. Take the fucking picture. What up, fellas? It's your boy, Johnny, and I see you. I see it on the gram. A bunch of awkwardness. So you guys might be wondering, how do I actually pose without looking awkward? Yeah, I see this a lot, and I don't want you to be that dude. So today, your boy has got you on how to pose for Instagram outfit pictures. So first off, before your ass even jumps in front of the camera, I definitely recommend you guys find a good location. You wanna find a spot with a cool background or an area where you can place things in the foreground. You know, photography has a bunch of terminology, so a background is whatever's behind the subject and the foreground is anything in front of the subject. Usually with street fashion and streetwear culture itself, it has origins from urban areas. New York City, Los Angeles, Tokyo, London, and all that, they're all big cities and urban areas really complement a streetwear outfit for pictures. That being said, it does not hurt at all to be completely different and rock your streetwear outfit in nature. It's just a great way to stand out. For the foreground, depending on your camera and lens, you can use pretty much any item. Prisms, leaves, or even through a fence. Shooting through these really helps frame the picture with the focus on your outfit. Next up, you'll be standing in front of the camera now, but you're gonna have to let the photographer do the work or communicate your vision with them. And I'm talking about composing a clean picture. And composing in photography basically means how the picture is taken, low to high. Let me give you a few good examples. A very clean and safe one is symmetry. See, even the slightest bit of being off angle can really hurt the picture but when you find a location that is very symmetrical itself whether the outfit is clean or meh it'll really make for a clean shot if you live in a big city like me it's very easy to not even care about this because pretty much anywhere you shoot is unique but if you're in the far suburbs shoot in the middle of the road anywhere with clean lines and is perfectly balanced this whole thing should be a second one I definitely recommend is a landmark. Frame it so that it's in the backdrop of the photo. This adds a little bit of character to your photos, just like if you cuffed your pants or rolled your sleeves. It's just that nice final touch that'll fully complete the shot. Otherwise, as far as it's shot, definitely communicate to your photographer to shoot from low to high. Typically, this is the cleanest way to make any dude's outfit look even more fly. This is going to make you look taller, showcase the sneakers, the most important part of your outfit, and capture the background. The cityscapes or the trees, the clouds, all of these are what really complements your shot. Now we're gonna be talking about poses. Relax, man. Trust me, I've seen some really cringe poses out there. And it's fine, you guys don't know any better. You guys didn't see this video yet. And my number one tip to combat awkwardness is to relax, man, calm down. See, you can really pose awkwardly, but pull it off really well. My boy Christian does that hilariously well and it makes him stand out on the gram. But let's talk about other poses. Take a deep breath. It ain't that serious. And then relax them shoulders and your arms. That's the start. But to really nail them poses, what you're really gonna wanna do is focus on your legs. A lot of dudes I see lock out both of their legs and it's exactly why the picture looks very awkward. Bend a knee, bend both knees. This adds to the relaxation and makes for a better pose. Just don't dramatically bend it unless you're sitting down. But yeah, even me, I still do it sometimes. I lock out both of my legs and it can look very awkward. But your knees aren't as bad as your arms. Sometimes you're probably asking, what the hell do I do with my hands and arms? Well, it's also subjective. That's the coolest part about fashion, about photography, about modeling. Each element is subjective and everyone has their own taste and style. See, I like to grab shit. Anything, fanny packs, rolling my sleeves, checking my watch, holding the side of my jacket, all of these really make for a more relaxed photo. Otherwise, let them dangle. Don't tense up or extend your fingers, and then try and keep your legs a little asymmetric as well. If you're sitting down, keep one leg forward and one leg back. Nothing is more awkward than two feet in place. Come on, man, what are you, standing on a scale to measure how much clout you'll get from this outfit? And definitely, you're gonna wanna focus on your head position. Safest bet is know your good side and show your jawline. Clench your jaw a bit to help that stand out, and look anywhere without extremely contrasting your body position. So if your body is pointed toward the left, don't look all the way to the right, it's awkward. And last but not least is learn how to clean the photo up or add to it. Removing people from the photo, errors, signs, tags, anything that distracts from the picture itself should be removed or you can take advantage of adding to an image. You see these birds? Bro, they didn't go, oh, Johnny's taking a picture, let's slide in frame and do him a solid. I added them, I added the lightning, I added the moons and the stars. See, all of this takes talent and skill. <clears throat> um. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes in business, graphic design. I mean, this is what you wanna learn, bro, for them sick edits and many more. Before moving to New York, I used Skillshare to learn the basics of editing, graphic design, and even marketing because it was necessary for my job. It's really what got my career started and I'm still using it to continue my career. I've really been studying all of Jeff Staples classes on branding and starting your own clothing line. Just you wait, fellas. Seriously though, without Skillshare, I wouldn't know my game plan. You can learn a lot from stuff on YouTube, but people hold back on YouTube and it's not laid out like a course like in Skillshare. So fellas, do your boy a solid. Click the link in the description if you're looking to get your career started. 
learn photography, editing, or graphic design, or let the classes help you take your career further. Because the first 500 people that click that link are going to get two months for free, man. Two months! Normally it's $10 a month, but even then, that's cheap. So help your boy out so Skillshare can see an influx of people that want to get fly and care about their future. And get those two free months of premium membership, which gives you unlimited access to any class. Don't miss out on this, guys. All right, fellas, if you guys want some more fashion inspiration, follow your boy on the gram at Fly with Johnny Ty, so you can see more fake birds and lightning. And until then, stay fly. Check out Skillshare. I'm out, bro. Peace.